everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I figured what better time to talk about someone, a chemist who came up with a treatment for a disease than right now. So today we're gonna to talk about Alice Augusta Ball who was a chemist born in the late 1800s in Seattle, Washington. She came up with the first effective treatment for leprosy. She's also the first African American and the first woman to earn an MS degree in chemistry from the University of Hawaii. She died in 1916 at the age of 24 of uh, some unknown illness that may have resulted from an, an accident in the lab, but she was unable to publish her work. She was studying Chomugra oil and using it in the treatment of leprosy. It had previously been used to treat leprosy, but was only used topically and occasionally in injections that were apparently very painful. So through her work, she found a way to create an injection that was better absorbed by the body and was so effective that it allowed people, it didn't cure leprosy, but it allowed people to end their pariahship and to return to their families and to society and to normal lives. And it gave them their whole lives back, which was just an incredible accomplishment. Again, she died at the age of 24 before publishing her work. And so this absolute chuckle fuck, who was the president of the University of Hawaii at the time, Dr. Arthur Dean, he published her work instead without crediting her at all. And he called this method of treatment the Dean Method. Thankfully, about six years after her death, a former colleague and mentor of Alice Ball's published a paper uh, giving her all of the credit and the method became known as the Ball Method instead of the Dean Method. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that real quick today because they, I know they're also testing the first vaccine for the coronavirus today, which is very exciting, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know, you know, we don't really know how long this is going to last, but I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all staying healthy and looking out for one another. Um, please, if you have elderly neighbors or immunocompromised neighbors, or there's a, people with newborns, which is insane. Like, can you imagine your first week of being a parent is the week of the pandemic? So please just check in with everyone uh, that you can from a distance. Um, if, yeah, if you're able to run errands for people who can't or are scared to go out, to the grocery store or to get their uh, medications because they don't have a good immune system or because they're older, they, you know, people who are validly concerned about their health. Um, please make yourself available to do that if you can. Trevor Noah posted a video today that I think you should all watch. In it, he says, try to remember that we are human beings existing with other human beings fighting against something together for a change. I thought that was a really good way to, to say this. I think that we are seeing the places that as a society we're weak and that we do need to be looking out for people like um, the homeless population and people who cannot afford health care and uh, also that we need to be acknowledging all of the hard work that, that people in the service industry do and how it's not necessarily set up to maintain the health of people in the service industry. There's just so much room for improvement. Uh, within the healthcare industry and um, the service industries and the way that we care for each other. Thank you so much to everyone who is working in the healthcare industry right now. Holy cats, that's incredible. Y'all are tough as hell. Uh, thank you so much for all of the hard work that you're doing. Yeah, I guess just, you know, please check in with each other. Stay healthy, stay safe. My cats say hi and they love you. Uh, I love you. Thanks for watching my dumb videos. Thank you also for watching this video, which I feel is a little less dumb because Alice Augusta Ball was a freaking amazing badass. If you want to go follow me on Instagram at Alice Lafay, you can go to my website, alicelafay.com. I'm also on Twitter, but I'm a garbage tweet person who mostly just posts about political anxiety. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Bye!